everybody, welcome aboard. Captain Mike here. I thought I was going to be working on the flight deck today, swapping out the bad power supply and a monitor and some standby gauges, but the gentleman that was going to be helping me today, something popped up. So I won't be getting that till uh, Monday now, but on the bright side, um, I've spent the last 10 days or so working on X-Plane's night lighting, and I've made quite a few changes to... Uh, Numerous things, aircraft, uh, apron lighting, street lighting, helipads, um, skyscraper lighting, the whole nine yards. Um, on my 75 inch monitors, the, uh, the lights just didn't look right. They were just too bright, too much of a uh, glare around them, or a bloom, whatever you want to call that glow. Um, and the starlight effect on some of these lights just were a bit much. I think you see that more on cameras than you do seeing it with your own eyes, unless the weather conditions are right. So I pretty much eliminated those and toned them down quite a bit. With that, we are in uh, Newark, New Jersey, and we're going to head on over to uh, Manhattan and take a look at some of the night lighting effects. This is version 3.7, which is available at xplane.to. And the link is uh, down below in the description if you want to give them a try. Aircraft you see there is just flight. Knots. AI traffic, and I've got that at 100%. There are some limitations with the lights uh, due to how they interact with the uh, X-Plane itself. Um, for instance, I've noticed out in Seattle, they're... Uh, their apron lighting is associated with uh, vehicle parking garages. So I have to make the lighting, or set up the lighting so that it's correct for the apron. And then as it turns out, it's a little bit too bright for the surrounding areas. Um, so that's one of the limitations that uh, I have there. So they'll stick out a little bit. Not that much though. And the same thing for some of the uh, area lights. Uh, let's swing around. We'll have a look at Newark, New Jersey. You can see there's one of the parking garages right there. I would have liked to dull that down a bit, but then the apron lighting gets too dull. And how about we don't get that out? Stay nice and low here. Oh, there's the highway lighting around Newark. And there's Manhattan out in the distance. And behind that is LaGuardia. Don't know if you can make that out from here. Swing to the right a little bit here. Give you a look at JFK, and then we'll swing back to come up uh, around Manhattan. Uh, you should be able to see JFK out in the distance there. And some of the lights that were missing in my earliest sets bring those into view right now. You can see the Freedom Tower there. You can see the green and the red flash up on top. That, was, that wasn't there earlier. The only thing I had was the uh, red flash for uh, the aircraft. And then if we come up a little bit further, I don't know if that's the Chrysler Building or the Empire State Building. It's one of the two. Also had additional lighting on it. I believe it's the Empire State Building. And the observation deck is now lit up as well as the top of the uh, the building. We'll get a closer look at Manhattan when we come around the other side. And then there's the, uh, I believe it's the Empire State Building. So that's looking pretty decent. Now we 
should be able to see LaGuardia begin to peek through behind the buildings here. You can probably see a few of those tower lights that are on there. We'll come up a little further before we swing around. I also turned the color down on my uh, on my monitors. They're down to 30 percent when I fly at night. I don't have the color turned up. So, and uh, I also uh, am using the uh, Mercury bright set for the lights. Oh, you should have a view of the Guardia coming up right there. And as you can see, LaGuardia blends in beautifully. Right there. JFK seems to stick out a little bit more because of the area lights and how they're used in other locations. So. We'll swing a hard right once I get over Manhattan. Give you a view of the streets down below, and then we'll get a better look at these skyscrapers and the bridges. dark in Central Park. And I don't know if these buildings that are completely dark have to do with uh, X-World from Simhaven, but it would be nice to find out why there are no lights in those buildings. a look. Got all these skyscrapers. There you go. Top of that's lit up real nice now. That was one of them that wasn't lit in an earlier version of my lights. So that worked out rather nice. And as you can see here they look nice and when we take a look at LA you'll see they're a little bit oversaturated. But it's a compromise on what I can do. Well, let's get a good look at the Freedom Tower here. That big ball that used to flash up on top is gone. JFK Airport. We'll do a flyover and give you a view of the uh, the lighting. Then I'll swing back and show you the bridges. get closer to JFK, the lights kind of mellow out, so they don't look that out of whack. They're just pretty bright from a distance. A little brighter than I want them to be. But these are far better than what I started with. And here we have JFK. Let's go right 
So you still get that light popping, like flash bulbs going off down there. Still haven't been able to figure that out. Would be nice to be able to fix that. Bridges now. Zano Bridge out in the distance, Bay Ridge, Brooklyn. <coughs> My wife and I left there about 13 years ago. Now let's go get a really close look at these bridges now. So we'll hit the Brooklyn Bridge, Manhattan Bridge, the Williamsburg Bridge on the way up. this test is all about. So 3.7 is looking pretty good. I would think anything past this would be if anybody finds anything or if there's any little tweaking that needs to go on. Here's the Brooklyn Manhattan Bridge right there. Easy way to remember those bridges as you're coming up uh, the FDR is BMW, like the vehicle, Brooklyn, Manhattan, Williamsburg. Easy enough. All right, everybody, hope you enjoyed that view. I'm going to go test in other areas. Don't know if I'm going to put them online. Maybe I will. I don't know. We'll see. I'll see if I can get you a view out the front, maybe.
So for those of you that are using an older set of my lights, you may want to update. Um, there's a lot of changes in these. Days and many nights, spent hours on that thing. That highway ever gets flooded out, you better be ready to do some camping if you're stuck between exits. <laughs> AI aircraft there. Hope you can see that. That's what that lighting looks like. And as you can see, those lights that were flickering, now they're steady down there. The ones that are set up for the uh, parking areas. So, I don't know. I just don't get it. Approaching. One. Three. Left. Haven't been able to figure it out. Five. Right, everybody, hope you enjoyed that ride. I'll catch you on my next one. Then we'll shoot out to L.A. Oh, you know what? I'm not going to be able to move that camera, though. This place is a mess. We have stuff all over the place.